in the country. Many sports organisations naturally want to grow their sport, and encouraging individuals to ride bikes as part of transportation contributes to that. This partnership would be beneficial to both parties as it garners positive image uh, by associating with a respected and established uh, sports organisation. So this would be seen in the form of using like the hashtag, let's get moving. Um, really the hashtag system is great across social media uh, because once it sort of gathers into a movement, everybody will kind of see it. And it also provides incentives uh, for people uh, to sort of get active discounts or um, get up their move points on their Android devices or Apple devices. So the last recommendation, a uh, part of this recommendation is physical presence. Um, and the way that the company operates now, I would describe it as ghost life. And what I mean by that is, if you guys left the country right now and you stopped all your operations, no one would notice. So that's what I mean. And as a commuter, daily um, into the city, I generally get pissed off when I see those bikes lying around, weeks on end, without any intention of being cleaned up. So that's why we, uh, throughout the process of scaling back and redeployment, we need you guys to make it obvious that you're doing something. Make it obvious that you're changing. So maybe having um, people dressed up in mobile gear, bright orange vests, nobody can miss that. And make it super, super obvious you're doing something. Make it super obvious you guys are changing for the better. I'm going to pass off to Matt. So our third uh, recommendation is the introduction of e-bikes. So there's already e-bikes on the market. Um, but it's important that Mobike moves with this market. Um, it's a very, it's a very developing sort of market, and the e-bikes are only new. But as someone that commutes daily um, on bike, I, I believe that the single speed uh, bikes that they've currently got are just simply not practical. So something needs to change there. Um, and if we are moving away from that leisure focus and into the target market of someone who's going to be commuting in the city daily. Um, I think this is, this is super, super important. Um, along with this, a focus on adequate safety equipment, which is <coughs> regularly maintained, should be at the core of the operations. Um, a defensive cycling course on the app prior to the use of the bikes. Um, not only could this protect the company in cert certain cir circumstances, but it also promotes good cycling culture in Sydney because I know that it's always on the news how bad cyclists are and how bad they drive, how bad they ride. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the last part, we've come to the summary. So all in all, why would you listen to us, right? We're just a bunch of dudes from a consultancy, right? Um, but the reason that we think you guys should listen to us is that we've gone to the core. We're not just sort of chopping off the heads of the issue and waiting for them to grow back. We've gone straight to the roots so that the problems themselves don't come up again. All right, so, um, yeah, so the main part of our strategy would be the implementation um, of the hybrid hotspot parking. Uh, as you know, probably you can tell, I get really annoyed by bikes being parked sort of inconveniently. Um, and this sort of solution provides the rigidity um, and sort of structure for people to park in spe specified places while sort of maintaining that aspect of people being able to park where uh, it is more convenient for them uh, but also convenient to the public. And just lastly, the introduction of the e-bikes to the market <coughs> um, just to simply meet the geographical needs that um, Sydney has and the partnership with Cycling Australia to create a better social media presence on all platforms um, could get this message out and, be, and it'll be really clear. Thank you. Okay.